Hey guys, my name is Joanna Sophia. Hello, how are you guys? So on today's video, I wanna talk about a few tips for you to apply if you want into your relationship or your future relationship with your boyfriend, girlfriend, and so on. So I think these tips are very applicable and doable a very good foundation to apply when you're with someone. You might agree, you might disagree, you might think it's hard, you might think it's easy because you know there's a lot of human beings out here in the world and yeah, we all have different, but yeah. So I wanted to share these with you guys because I have friends that come up to me and they ask me what I think and you know, everyone has a different thinking process, everyone has different opinions, everyone has different thoughts. So I'm just sharing mine, I'm sharing what I think, I'm sharing what I'm really like strong, like okay, these are important for you know, when you're in a relationship, obviously these can also be applied with your family, with your coworkers, with your friends, so on, um, but I'm focusing just on being in a relationship with someone and applying these in your relationship so I'm just gonna go ahead and just start and talk about each one of them <sighs> yeah I'll try to make this video as short as possible but I cannot promise anything okay so the first thing that I have uh, to say is communication communication is very important when it comes to being in a relationship because if you don't have that communication with that other person then there could be butting heads or misunderstanding so when you're talking if something's going on let's say he, your boyfriend or your girlfriend you know said something that upset you or made you sad or made you frustrated or angry you need to tell them and you need to explain to them I'm not saying go yell at them I'm not saying go fight with them I'm not saying none of that stuff I'm saying just communicate and tell them okay I need to talk to you there's something that you just said to me that I did not like and this is why or there's something that you know you weren't there for me or you didn't do this or you did do this you need to talk to them and communicate with them because a lot of the time sometimes they don't even know that you're you're feeling these things these emotions but sometimes they do I know like sometimes they might know and be like oh yeah she's upset um, but they don't bother to ask or whatnot but still tell them because sometimes they don't get it and you need to explain to them for them to understand and get it and the same goes for the other way around you want them to communicate with you they should communicate with you because then a lot of the times there's miscommunication misunderstandings and you don't want that in your relationship you want to be on the same page and obviously it's impossible to always be on the same page but yet you can put in that effort to try to be as close to it as possible. It's so important. Tell them that you're sad. Tell them that you're angry. Tell them why. Explain. But do it in a, in a manner that's not going to break out into a complete argument that you're going to fight or yell at each other. Just do it in a way that you know you guys can both sit down and just tell them like, yeah, you made me really sad, and this is why you made me really sad. And you know, I don't I don't know how to take on the next step because you keep doing it. And then let, let's say it's something like that, then they need to be like, oh, snaps it. Ah, okay, this person really, it really upsets them when I'm doing this constantly. Okay, I'm not saying change yourself. Don't change yourself, but communicate to understand one, one another because sometimes maybe you, you, they call you something and you really don't like it and they're like, oh, okay, sorry, I'll, I won't call you that anymore. I'm so sorry. But communication is super important. Another tip that I have is to listen. Listen to them. So let's say there is communication happening and that person is talking to you. You need to listen to them and you need to tell them you need to hear them out like don't just like listen be like Meh, let them talk and, okay no 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 like you need to literally hear them you need to understand try to understand their point of view try to understand why they are feeling that emotion and then true and then acknowledge acknowledge and be like you know what i heard you i know what you said and i put myself in your shoes and how you're taking the situation and I can see it I'm so sorry or you know whatever the situation is on how to, how to answer it like tell them that you're there for them tell them okay you know things will get better or whatever what I you know every situation is different every story is different but yes communicate listen like hear them out you know what I mean um acknowledge um, try to put yourself on their shoes see their point of view um, okay the next tip I have is don't ignore a situation that needs to be acknowledged so if you guys are going through something if you guys are 
um, if something happened to you and you need to express it to them, they, don't ignore the situation. You need to acknowledge the situation. So let's say you guys got in an argument, not an argument, but let's say something upset you. Don't just ignore it and be like, you know what, I'm gonna get over it and and that'll be that. Or the other way around that they get upset at you, but then they just ignore it. And that's that. I don't, I don't want that. You know why? Because then they'll start piling up all those things that they're ignoring to a point where they're going to explode on you, you know? So you want to take things on like firsthand when it happens. So for instance, like if you have homework, right? And you ignore, you're like, I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to, I'm going to do it later. And then I'm like, I don't want to deal with it. And then you have more homework and it piles up and piles up and piles up and all this studying and stuff like that piles up. At one point, you're going to have to deal with that whole pile and have to get it all done, which will be even more overwhelming, even more stressful and even frustrating. It could be. And then you're going to be like, I don't even know what to do. Um, or like let's say you have five, a paperwork to do or whatever it may be but that was just an example to try to i don't know explain but basically yeah if you put things off a lot at one point it's gonna you think you're ignoring it you think that oh i'm over it but at the end of the day when something else happens and something else happens and something else happens then you bring out everything you bring up everything remember that one time and that one time and then one time, one time, one time blah, 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 blah. and then you're like oh my goodness and then you're like oh, okay how do we even how do we fix this right but if you take everything one by one as it comes, because no relationship is perfect, you're gonna go through your ups and your downs, you will. And it's all a matter of how you handle it. It's a matter of how much you love each other and care about each other and wanna work through things in order for you guys to like completely succeed in your relationship. So there's a situation, okay, this is a bump, this is a situation, let's figure out, okay, what's going on? What can we do? Let's try to understand each other, okay? Can we fix this? Yes, let's fix this. So that's my uh, suggestion, my advice is to take it, take it in. Like even if you don't, I know sometimes you just don't, you just don't want to fight or you don't want to, you don't want to deal with it or you think that's gonna blow over, but sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes it just, it just keeps on adding up, and then, then you create something that's really hard to repair when it might have been easier to repair one by one than a whole mountain. But yeah. <laughs> So the next tip I have for you guys is to be honest with each other. Honestly, be honest with each other. Be truthful. Don't lie. There's no reason to really lie. There's certain things in life or certain things that you need to obviously tell your partner. If you feel like you need to lie to them because you know that, that, that you're doing the wrong thing or that person's not going to like what you're doing, either you should reconsider what you're about to do and be like, okay, yeah, uh... If I need a lie in order to do that, then I probably shouldn't be doing it in the first place. And you need to reconsider if there's, if you continuously come keep on lying and lying and lying to your relationship, like what kind of, is that really a real relationship that you're having? Because you're literally lying to the person that you love and care about. You know what I mean? So don't do it. I just, no, I just don't know. I, uh-uh, just uh, -uh. don't do it. I'm a very honest person. I'm like one of the most honest people that I know in my life. I want to say I'm the the, mo the most honest person that I know in my life. But you might not believe me, but you can ask other people. But I really am. And when I catch other people lying to me, it, it, it can break trust. Everything comes out in the end. Everything comes out in the end. Might as well just let me, let me tell you what's going on. Because you mm -mm, just don't lie. For me, it's just a big thing. Because if you lie to me, then you break my trust. And once you break my trust, it's it's kind of hard. I You can't really get it back. I mean, I feel like I turned this video kind of like, it's not negative. I'm just like saying like when you're in those situations and those situations I, that you guys are going through, you know, the downhill instead of the uphills, like how, what what can what can help you you know what i'm saying so like that's why i'm i'm bringing in like communication listening acknowledging i'm bringing in i uh, don't ignore the situation be honest be truthful and obviously there's so many more other tips all these things for a lot of people it'll be obvious like oh yeah of course you know um or some people they already know that but they can work on it yeah those are some tips for you guys in order to apply it on your relationship i hope this is very helpful for you guys you know, maybe if you needed that sign to be more 
communicative with your loved one or be more honest or um, you know like be able to really listen and such or you're you want you're gonna be in a relationship soon or you're single now but you will be in a relationship at one point and you want to be the best boyfriend or girlfriend you can be I feel like these are very great things to apply within yourself and also share it with your spouse share it with share it with your loved one if they can you know take on one of these tips but yeah well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was helpful, if you took anything away, if you agreed with anything, give it a thumbs up. I know I can't please everyone, and, you know, and I know that everyone has their own opinions and everything like that, but this is just my own. Um, hopefully you like this video, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Okay, bye guys.